here. Welcome to another episode of Terra Prime Training Hall. Uh, joining me today is my apprentice Ben. Uh, we will be talking today about uh, a very important concept in sparring is getting off the line or controlling the line in some cases. And what that means is um, essentially knowing that you, in order for your text to, to, to strike, right, you have to maintain a, a straight line between you and the opponent and that line has to be open without their weapon there so that you can successfully get your attacks to hit their target right um, but you also have to keep yourself safe so controlling the line involves both staying off of your opponent's line or attempting to while keeping them on yours and that is no easy task so that's part of the game and what makes this whole thing fun okay so Throw the helmet on here and we'll show you a couple of common scenarios. Okay, so generally speaking, you see uh, exchanges like this, where I'm coming in here, and you see this. Now, if we go diagonally, you will, see, you will notice, right? Right, and even when I, even when we're moving around, getting hit a whole lot, okay? Uh, <clears throat> come on over here. And one of the reasons is, is because we're just pretty much staying right on one line. And if he continues to do that, the person who probably has the superior skill or technical ability is probably gonna come out ahead most of the time. That's not always true, because if we're standing here, it's very easy to get into a, into a scenario where he's throwing an attack to my head, I throw it to his hands, he hits me in the head, I hit him in the head, and we get doubles, right? So we're sitting here, and oh, okay, double. And then, oh, oh, okay, double. So we want to kind of minimize that. Now, one of the ways we do that is by staying off the line. When he comes in, I'm gonna move over to the side. Now, let's just do a little exchange here, you can see, right? Okay. So, when as I move over, in this one here, we come over here, I go over here. I noticed he started moving this way. So as he starts to step this way, I go over here, right? Going for that, okay? That shot isn't available to me unless I step over to the side, right? If I don't step over to the side, I just catch his blade. He parries the strike. If, however, I step over to the side, I can still get him, even when he makes contact here to get, oops, sorry. Even when he gets, he, he, he makes the parry. Since my angle is at a sharper angle than his line. So his line is over here, I've gotten off of his and kept him on mine. Now, watch how far he has to push his sword over before I can no longer touch him, okay? So as I come over here, and I'm off the line, this pivot right here, the further I'm over here, as he starts to push it around, I can still get him pretty, pretty well, right? As long as I'm not standing right in front of him, right? Now, it doesn't even really matter. If I'm starting to take strikes at him like this, and I'm standing right in front of him, when I miss, and I will miss every, you know, every now and then, boom, right? He's just gonna hit me, right? So I'm here, right there. You see, I may have gotten him, but again, another double. That's not really what we're looking for, right? So we always wanna kind of move off the line. Now, we practice this in the Dulan a lot, right? In the Shichu Dulan, when we're coming out here, even these things, which are the straightest ones of them all, go diagonal, right? When I come in here, and I'm back, and you see, 
the step is across. It's a little bit forward, but I'm always crossing that center line whenever I'm doing it. So when you're, when you're doing your form, you're doing your doulon, and you're practicing by yourself, always remember, cross that center line, right? Okay, so you're going back and forth, right? Obviously, he comes in with the overhead strike, I parry it and come down there, that's what it is. If I continue through, right, boom, boom, I can continue through, I can remain relatively unscathed. All right, good. So we will show you some, uh, some examples of that here um, in sparring, and you can see the kind of difference between standing kind of right in front of somebody and moving around um, and wh which one is going to really afford you more opportunities. So keep that in mind as you're going out and if you are sparring under safe conditions, a, an experienced uh, instructor, lots of gear, put on those helmets, put on those gloves, put on those cups, do it. I'm sorry. People who don't fight with gear do not strike me as tough. Just saying. And I don't think anybody else, they don't, they don't, they don't seem very tough to anybody. Um, put on the gear, be able to go for it, stay off that line. Get out of the way of the other person, okay? If you're not wearing gear, the other person is not gonna be free to hit you, and you may stay on the line and be thinking you're okay, but they, in reality, they could have really clonked you, right? So put on those helmets and then actually see if you can make the contact, all right? Always practice safe. Okay, so that's it for us. Um, we will uh, send you over to some of the uh, sparring things right now. So good luck with that and happy sabering.